Today I want to cut some layers in her, give her a more kind of lifelike haircut. And we're going to base this off of a side parting. So I've gone over kind of our basic sectioning uh, every class every week. So what I want to do today is kind of show you a variation of that sectioning based on a side parting a little bit. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through here. I'm going to create a left-hand side parting. So just like that. So how do we find the fringe area? The way that we do that is I work and I look for the hair that wants to fall to the front. So if you wanted to, you could really literally comb the hair like this and lift it up and then see that little hair that wants to fall to the front. That's what I'm gonna section off. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the side here. So I'm gonna find that section. So right here, and I'm looking for the hairline. So I'm trying to draw a straight line down. So now we're still basing it off of this side part. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the head in half. So I wanna find all the hair that wants to fall to the side and then the hair that wants to fall to the back. And the way that I'm gonna find that is just going from the high point here down to the hairline in the back. So same thing on the opposite side. So that's our section that goes down to the hairline right there. So you can see it follows from here all the way down. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. You can see right there, I'm working with this entire curved section. So what I want to do is I want to break that up. So I'll take it right at that parietal ridge area. So just like that. And I'll take it all the way across to the hairline. So I'll let that be one part of the section and this will be the second part. So we've got our top and we've got our bottom. So here's the thing. You don't have to section out. But for me, I find that knowing exactly where I'm at and what part of the head I'm working on and what hair is going to go where and what it's going to do, that just helps me create more success um, in my haircuts. So for me to create volume, I want to create a really nice kind of uh, stacked feel to the layering and then collapse it. So the line will go up the head. So it'll go kind of parallel to the head for a bit. And then once we get to that crown area, it's going to uh, dip in and go up. I can see the screen in front of me. Thank you, Zelda, for agreeing. Appreciate that. So we're going straight down center back here. I'm gonna go a little below occipital bone to start because I wanna create a nice solid line in the bottom here. So slight diagonal forward, not too much. Here, so I'm gonna go straight across, slight diagonal forward. I'll step back a little bit, make sure the lines match up. We're good. Now I'm gonna work through here. Uh, and we're gonna create a nice line in the back first. So it's gonna be a nice balanced line. All right, so I'm gonna bring uh, the hair down and I'm gonna cut a nice strong baseline. So what I do with my clients is I look for where the density starts to get a little bit weak. So as I'm pulling through, I can see that's super weak right there. So I know I wanna go a little bit further up uh, on the line. And this is if I'm trying to give them a nice healthy haircut. All right, so we go through. I'm keeping my finger parallel to the parting up there, and then I'm just gonna cut my line across. So I wanna keep this haircut nice and long, but I want it to look nice and healthy as well. So there we go. And then when I take my next section, look at how my parting is here. So my figure's gonna come straight down and follow that uh, straight across. So I'll bring it here, and then I've got my line, and now I'm gonna follow that as a guide. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side here. Follow the line parallel to the parting. And then I'll take these two pieces and check them and make sure they make sense and they are the same length. Okay, so understand here that when I take this section across, and let me, I'm gonna straighten her head because I want you to see how horizontal this section really is. So when I take this section across here, like that, I want you to look at the head shape and what it's doing. You look right here and you can see that this section that we're gonna bring out, ah, uh, body. Okay, so this section that we're gonna bring out here, you can see that there's a tiny bit of a curve, but this entire thing we're working on a curve. So we have to be aware when we're layering hair 
what's going on with the head shape. Do we want it to be building up weight at this point? Because if I bring this straight out like this, if I bring it here and cut it, I'm, I'm building weight. So it's going to be heavier uh, graduated effect. If I'm here and I bring it up to this point, I'm about at layering right there, right? So I look at the head shape and how the hair is coming off of it. So if I lift it even higher, then I start really layering it and removing weight. But then my layers start to get shorter. So I have to be aware of that as well. All right, so if you look here, when I pull this out, my graduated line starts there and it works, that's the top of it. So I only want the top of it and then I'm gonna start building my layers off of that. If I start at the bottom of this, I cut all that graduation off and I cut all the density. So I wanna keep some of that density on my line and then layer from uh, that point up. This will start to create a slight bit of over direction because now we're working around the round. So because I'm bringing everything back, it'll push a little weight behind the ear. All right, so there we go. So we cut that side, and now I'm going to work the opposite side as well. you'll start to see that there's layers happening. Nothing's super extreme at this point. So it's just starting to stack up. You look here, start to see some of those layers come into life in there. It'll really start to pop when we get to the top here. All right, so now let down this section. All right, so now I'm gonna go right around the crown. So look at this right here. As I take this section around, Go around the crown. And again, it's about awareness. Where are you at on the head shape? Um, if I bring this crown and I bring everything straight out from that, it's gonna build up too much weight, it'll look graduated, and I really wanna pop some layers. So uh, here. All right, so now I'm coming out. All right comb this out there's my guide I'm gonna work up All right, so I'm taking a vertical section, and this is gonna be our highest elevation yet. So I want you guys to kind of see what I do here. I'm gonna take the hair, straight up like this. 
and we're going to work this crown of the head. So I don't want to take too much length, which is why. So this is what I would tell you guys right now. So what I would say to you guys is if I were to have started shorter layers right away initially, by the time I got up here, it would have been really short. This is going to be a pretty good length for me uh, as I go into it. And I'm also going to over direct it just slightly higher. So here's 90 degrees right here. I'm just going to go slightly a bit higher and I'm going to point cut into that line. Uh, the reason I'm going to point cut it is because I want it to be nice and soft. So right here, just a nice soft point cut into this line. And then watch this. We talked about length, drops, and now we're hitting right about in this area where we want all that volume to build up uh, in the haircut. So tons of layers popping through there. That's the whole back. So that's everything that wants to fall into the back. So you know that the layers won't get any shorter than that. So let's start off with our strong, or our heavy side, which is going to be the right side. The heavy side, we broke up into two sections, right? So we have our top section and we have our bottom. Um, so I'm going to start off on the bottom and then we're going to work our way to the top. Now this, you can tie into the bottom or into that perimeter if you want to. If you feel you need to, for me, I want to connect them through layering. So I'm not really worried about cutting a blunt line yet. What I want to do is I'm going to take a slight diagonal forward parting just like this, and I'm going to elevate. This parting should mimic where you're going to bring the hair to. So if I draw a line like that, that's what my fingers are going to do in the front. Uh, that's always the goal. And I'm going to point cut through. This will be the shortest point. Uh, in this face frame area. So uh, those of you guys that are looking to cut this, you want to know that you're going to continue to take sections back and bring them forward. So it's only going to get longer, and it'll get longer pretty quick because you're bringing hair from further away and cutting it at the same spot. is the part side so her parts right here this is going to fall and it's only going to be what it is like this side this part's going to fall over it so it gets even thicker and fuller all right so diagonal back parting remember i'm taking a parting based on how i'm going to hold it in my fingers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be holding it i'm going to go a little more vertical so i look at like what angle do i really want to hold it at I want to be about here, so I'm going to shift my angle of my parting a little bit. It's great. All right, so now you want to make sure that you kind of tie these two sides together, but they don't have to match fully. Grab a piece to make sure that these are just close enough. So what I'll do is I'll take this. And I don't blunt cut it off because it's a little bit thick, but I'll just cut a little line into it. Then I can bring everything, and this will be a good kind of overhead view of where I'm bringing the hair to, just straight out in front. Here's the nose. So the hair is coming straight forward. So here it is, cutting. Now... Work 
this top section here. Take that out. We're going to work through. I'm going to grab a little bit of the hair from underneath. And when I bring it forward, I'll show you. You can see the guideline. So here's the guide at that point right there in my finger. So I'm going to cut that line to really big explosion of layers throughout. So when I bring this section up, not the back, but when I bring up what we just cut, you could see it's a short to long line right there. But then there's shorter hair here from our back section. So when I comb that up, you'll see there's shorter hair from our back section. That's a disconnect. But when it falls, you can see that it starts to connect a little bit more. All right, so you've got this side of the parting and you've got this side of the parting. So I bring this hair over. I can grab a little bit of the previously cut section, but what I'll do is I'm gonna soften that line with just a little bit of slide cutting because the slide cutting will soften the, the weight. All right, so lifting the hair up and I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna cut into it. So just like slide cutting through. I'm half closing the scissor as I come down just to soften that angle. So now when I look at this, it's got a really nice kind of bouncy layered feel to it. All right, so um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section off for my round brushing. So this is the uh, Ergo Brush 43 um, on Shop FSC. You can get them on there. Uh, professional you know, round brush has an extra long barrel, which is really helpful when you wanna take a lot of hair at a time. So what I'll do is I'll work kind of vertically on both sides, back, uh, off of the face, and then all of this top section will round brush forward uh, towards the face, and then kind of so on and so forth through the front. Layers. 